Good morning, Mike. How are you? <laughs> What's up, man? I'm doing well, man. How are you guys? Why are you laughing already? Well, 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 you know, Sean, RJ, and Bobby, and I heard you say the other way, the guy renamed the show, Woody Dave, Sean, RJ, and Choppy, and all of that stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so Bobby, Bobby getting his name up in there now. Trying you know, to. Sean, RJ, yeah, yeah, get it up in there, buddy. That's Man, the way it works. his wife has the dollar signs in her eyes. She's talking about moving into from an apartment to the house, and she's going to give him the makeover, and he's making that morning show money, man, so... He's about to spread. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Said, hey, any vertical movement is always good movement. <laughs> and, 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 and you know mama now. Mamas won't let no money stay in the bank. Yeah. That, that's what really spends the money. My wife, you, I, when I first bought my first house, I said, babe, we're going to stay here until we retire. Now, we bought the land to build a house. I said, I can't build that house right now. Okay, I'm negotiating with Jerry still. As soon as I retire, <laughs> we're going to build a house. We've outgrown this house. So I used to go and get a little measuring tape. I said, I'm still 6'2". You still 5'6". What are you talking about? We had to go <laughs> one in. <laughs> she used to get hot. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm just saying, man, yeah. But ultimately, she got what she wanted. Of course she did. Always was. <laughs> Mike, what, what does T.Y. Hilton do for the Cowboys? Listen, it's so interesting because I got T.Y. Hilton coming on my podcast today, you know. I love oh, T.Y. Look at that. First of all, he, I, I love him. He's a good dude, man. You know, he's from Florida. I, I spent time talking to him when he was with Indy and, you know, I've gone out to eat with him before. I think he's great for the locker room. That's number one. Because that's the number one thing you want to start talking about right now. What, what we're adding, it, how is it going to fit in the locker room? Does it disrupt the locker room or add to the locker room? This will add to the locker room. Just I'm talking about the emotion side of it. Now, what does he add to the field? You know, and, and, and that's the whole thing. You know, T.Y.'s been out a minute. How much, you know, but he was a fast guy. He was a fast guy. And, and you, you can still run. I'm looking at old guys like T.T., like DJ, like Deshaun Jackson who can still run. T.Y. can still run. And I think that'll help us a lot over the top. How do you, like, how is it that you find out without getting on the field necessarily? Like, you know, does he... Has, still have a little bit left. I mean, does the name match up with the talent that remains? Well, uh, you know, T.Y. T.Y. for a minute, that was one of the top receivers in mm -hmm. the league. You know what I mean? So, 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 so now you 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 bring your mind off that. You bring your mind off that. That's a, there's a reason that he was no longer playing. You know what I mean? Uh, he got a little older and, and things had changed a little bit. So that, that's a reason for that. So, so you got to bring your mind off that. But the question is. How much can he still help the Dallas Cowboys? We're not looking for him to be the number one receiver. We're looking for you to add depth. To give us something going down the line, and he can certainly give you that. Is the Odell dream over? Uh, for now, I think it is. For now, it is. You know what I mean? I like that Jerry saying that. We needed help right now. We're not talking about next year. We're talking about right now. We're trying to win a Super Bowl right now. If you can help us, we can look into it. And you can't fault Odell people. They thought, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, 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 there's some bait in the water. Yeah. Let's drop a line and see if we can catch us a big fish that can give us a lot of money on the hopes of him coming back. You know, maybe he gets ready for the playoffs. You know what I mean? On the whole of it. So, so both sides, I understand. It's just business. The Bobby Bell question of the week, who would you rather face in the playoffs if you're the Cowboys between Philly and San Francisco? That's a great question, man. That's a great question. Right now, right now, I'm going to go to San Fran. because I'm going to go to San Fran. I'd rather face San Fran right now because they don't have Debo Samuel. Now, Debo comes back, you ask me that question again, yeah. I may have a different answer. For you. Well, <laughs> Debo's know? back. If I tell you Debo's back. Right, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's back in three weeks, they say. I'd rather face Philly. I got to see Philly. Wow. I don't need to see it. I'd yes. rather face Philly, buddy. I, I got to see Philly. Wow. That's their friend. San Fran's a different monster, man. I told y'all that last year. I'm telling you now. Even right now, 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 me saying that, me saying that too, I got to see game two, three, 
with Purdy. I was impressed last week. Ooh, I was impressed. I told you a week before that when he came on, I felt some Tom Brady's vibe. I just, I don't know if it was just my feeling or my mind had already peeked ahead and looked and saw that he was playing Tom Brady the week the week after that. I don't know, but I'm just telling you what I felt when I saw him come on the field. You know what? All I'm right, saying? so explain that because you know people can't they can't stick to what comparison you're really making. What what's the Brady Brock comparison? Well, well, you know when you see a guy come on the field in that big of a situation, is he coming on like, oh my God, what you know, oh. Oh, or is he coming on like, boy, I done told y'all not to give me this shot, yeah. and I'm about to show y'all now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a different vibe in that, dog. That's a different vibe. Tom Brady came on, he goofy looking and all, boy. But I said, oh, who's this young dude? <laughs> He's coming on like he belongs here. You know what I'm saying? Like he belongs here. Like he about to do something. And, and years later, lo, lo and behold, that's exactly what he did. I felt some of that with Purdy. I had to call. I don't know. I had to look at myself. I said, "What? Did you peek ahead and look at the schedule, and maybe you, your mind was already working because you knew he was playing Tom. What? The, well, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I made him my number one playmaker. He went into Tom's own hometown, Mister Irrelevant, and took down the most relevant in our league, and did it in your own hometown. Took you down. I got to give that man credit for that. I said, and when you talk about this, this travel." That's like traveling all around the world and back. That's what that was. That was insane, man. So if he can carry that, mm, mm, mm. yeah, that'd be scary. Michael Urban joins us here, 105 through the fan. Do you think, or are you concerned that he may not be able to go win you a game if you need to? Is that like the big kind of next test he has to he has to uh, you know overcome? Well, no, it's not a test he has to overcome. It's the protection they have to give him to 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 to, to stir up that thing and stir up that gift that he has in him. That's what they did to Tom. Tom didn't win throwing footballs early. Tom won with good defense and a good running game. You see what I mean? That's what he has right now. And then Tom moved to I'm carrying the team. And then he moved towards the 07 years where, 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 man, I'm carrying the lead. You know what I mean? With, with this passing thing. And now he's trying to kind of go back to, I'm gonna need a great run game and defense around me. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's nothing wrong with Brock Purdy being in that situation where where you saying, "Don't go out here. I don't want you to go out to throw it 40 times to win." You know what I mean? That's how Tom Brady started. So, Micah has created a little bit of a buzz that you're going to be talking about on TV as a topic. Uh, he was talking with Von Miller, and the question was, yeah, I saw it. "Hurts making the Eagles or the Eagles making Hurts?" And Micah seeming to suggest that seeming to suggest. <laughs> you sure about that? God, Bobby. Good God, good. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't say anything. You guys anything. are like freaking, you guys are 12 years old. I didn't say anything. You guys anything. are 13 years old, I swear to God. Is that, is that, that's Bobby, is that his word, seeming? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't say great. anything. Yeah, he wants a fourth kid, too. Man, man, I swear, man. You can't. I'm a hey, bunch of toddlers. That word's like, word like that, you know, like, like man, I still work on that old brother, all of you, man, don't you go on TV and say, man, I'm finna go. Finna. What, are you, what are you talking about, finna? I'm yeah. about to? Yeah. You mean I'm about to? There's just words that work in like that, that always work in. It seemed like <laughs> Micah was suggesting that the Eagles were helping Jalen versus Jalen helping them. What do you think? Now, and, and it's so funny because I was just talking to Chicago and I was telling them wow. the same thing. I was talking on the show in Chicago. I said, listen, what, what they've done, in Philly, was first of all make you guys more patient with Justin Fields. Yep. Because now that you see what can happen and what possibly can happen, you say, oh, "Okay, we can wait for that thing that Philly's doing." But now you got to put the same team around Justin Fields like they did, like they did uh, Jalen Hurts. And there's no doubt he has a great team around him. But 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 what 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 Michael's what Michael I think should be accentuated more than anything. Is it's not just that he has a great team around him. Look at the leadership. This leadership this dude has. How, how how he has this team moving forward. So so I understand. I go on to talk about well who's doing what because it's such a jump in the passing game that we're seeing and such an improvement in the passing game that we're seeing out, out of Jalen Hurts. But I think he's discounting the leadership of all that talent. 
that Jalen Hurts has around him, or I should say not giving Jalen Hurts enough credit for being the leader of all that talent. That's a hard thing to manage, too. You're not hearing Devontae Smith them come out of here talking about, man, I ain't getting enough football, or Arthur Brown, you know what I mean, Arthur Juan Brown, A.J. Brown. You're not hearing that stuff. That's important, too, as you talk about it. And I think, yeah, you're discounting that and not giving it enough credit. Mike, what is your number? What's your top Cowboy concern where you're like, uh, this could be this could be the problem. They need to clean this up in order to get to the Super uh-huh. Bowl, win the Super Bowl? Every team in the NFC that we're going to have to face has a run game. With the exception uh, of Tampa, who's kind of falling off a little bit. But every other team you see. Is it Minnesota? You know, we feel a little bit Minnesota, but they got a run game. And you know what we could do sometimes against that run. San Fran, they got a run game. Philly, they got a run game. We got to see our demons in every playoff game on the way to the Super Bowl. And our demon is that run game. Mm. Well said. Seemingly. Well said. Seemingly. Michael Irvin, Diamond Factory Hotline here on Sean and RJ. Good to hear from you, boss. It's always good to talk with you guys, man. Keep up the great work, man. And, Bobby, get your name in there, Bobby. Get it in there. Keep it in there. Uh, I, I, I got it. In there. Tell Mama to go ahead and start dreaming. <laughs> They're going to make me show up at 530 if my name gets in there, so I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. There he is. All right, guys. All right.